If you have a question you're too embarrassed to ask your doctor or even your friends, send us an email and you never know, we may actually answer it right here on the show. Well, our next question came to us via email from Robert in Wichita, Kansas. He writes, hi, Dr. Sears. My son developed little white bumps all over his chest after having strep throat. The doctor diagnosed him with water warts, which I read online as an STD. How did he get them, and how can I prevent them from spreading to my other kids? Aha, water warts. Well, water first warts. off, it has nothing to do with strep, so that was just a coincidence. But there's a medical term for these. We call them molluscum contagiosum, and that sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's really harmless. Let me show you what they look like. Like she said in, the, in her letter, her email, little white bumps are just a couple millimeters wide, and they're, they look like they're filled with a little cheesy whitish fluid. Mm -hmm. And uh, first off, this is harmless. It's caused by a harmless virus, no big deal at all. But you go online and you read, it could be an STD. And, and that can really be scary. That totally freaks parents out. And that's because in the adult world, it is an STD. Mm -hmm. And, and we'll, I'll like, often see this in my practice down in there. In this area. Yeah. But in kids, kids, it's totally different. It's spread by just direct contact, no big deal, very common. How is it spread? Direct contact? If if one of these gets kind of uh, pricked or scratched or opened up, then it can actually spread to the adjacent area, and that's kind of what happens in most people. It kind of spreads around. So now, you want to keep it. You want to keep them covered. If they're covered by clothes, then that's fine. But if anything, if it's exposed, then you want to keep it covered to keep it from spreading. You don't want to mess with these, all right? The best treatment for these is no treatment at all because they will go away eventually. If you mess with them, they have the chance of scarring. Right, so, so you don't want to pop them, know, just like pimples. You don't yeah, want to pop them. Exactly. But I tell parents, it can be more than a couple months. It could be up to 12 months, even a few years it can take for these to go away. Um, if they are somewhere embarrassing or they're really spreading, what I'll do in my office is freeze them with a little ni liquid nitrogen, mm -hmm. uh, just like we do uh, to a wart, and that actually kills them, kills the virus, and makes these go away quickly. But let me show you. Um, here's Don't a, do it yourself. Yeah, do not do that yourself because it can really cause some significant scarring if you don't do it right. So we've got our little mannequin boy here, and we've kind of simulated this molluscum contagiosum. It sounds like a Harry Potter spell, oh, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. But, uh, it's, but it's not. It's a bad name. Um, you know, if it's under the, under the shirt, that's fine. You don't need to cover it. But anytime it's exposed, if he's going to go to school or go to the pool or something, you just want to keep it covered up with a gauze, some waterproof tape. If it's, a, if it's a nice big area like that, just do that. If it's a smaller area, you can just use a, a commercial waterproof bandage. That way it won't get spread to other kids. And that's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. And that's the contagiosum part yes, of the contagiosum. name. Yes, contagiosum. Right, molluscum relates to warts. Yeah, yeah. So it's easy, even if it sounds horrible, parents don't freak out.